There we go. There we go. There we go. That's a nice fish. We're going to say that's an 18 for our first fish. There we go. Oh, that's a decent one. I did not expect that fish. All right, hey there. This is Hate's Wanderings. Welcome, fellow wanderers. Uh, today, in this video, you guys are gonna be seeing a really cool treat. My dad and I head to the Sylvania Wilderness, a really cool expanse of water um, with not many people and a whole lot of fish. It's really quite cool. So, a little bit of background about Sylvania Wilderness. Um, first off, there's like, I believe, 30 lakes total in the wilderness area. I could be wrong on that. Um, you have to uh, portage to almost all of them. The first lake is Clark Lake, the one we're on right here, and it's like, I don't know, two miles long or something. And from this lake, you get to different lakes, which then take you to different lakes. Um, 
and there's some cool regulations to encourage a trophy bass fishery in here. Number one, catch and release only. Number two, all hooks have to be barbless, so crimp those hooks. And number three, artificial bait only. So what happens is you're catching fish in here that are like 18, 20 inches all the time. It's crazy how good the fishing is. Crazy. Um, other than that, there are there are other species in here, but mostly it's a small bass, uh, smallmouth bass fishery. You know, periodically you might catch a walleye. There are lake trout in some of the river or some of the lakes. Uh, rock bass, sunfish, perch, things like that. But mostly it's bass, 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 and they grow big. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. We're gonna have three days in this wonderful camping and kayaking and fishing location. So hope you guys enjoy it and uh, let's get rolling. Catch release wander. All right, hey there. This is taking off on our first day in the Sylvania Wilderness area. Right here with me today is my pops. Maybe he'll uh, wave, put his head up. There you go. He's mute, so he won't be talking for the whole trip. Sounds good? Yeah. There we go. Um, <laughs> we are gonna catch a lot of fish and have a lot of fun today and tomorrow, and the next day, and I think the next day. Four days, three nights. All right, so uh, let's get going. This water is super clear. Check that out. This water is as still as it can be. Crazy. So still out here. All right, check this out. Just beautiful. So currently, uh, we just got done with our first paddle. We're, I don't know, we paddled two or three miles. I don't know, maybe it was three miles down this river. And we haven't fished yet. Um, but when we were paddling, I saw a smallmouth on the bottom that I would say was 23 inches. It was gigantic. I'd say it's the largest smallmouth I've ever seen. Um, but we're right now going to be doing our, our portage. Or should I say portage? We got a portage of uh, about a third of a mile, so really it's not too long. And then we're going to be on to our second lake, and at that point I'm going to start fishing a little bit. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we get some big ones. First fish of the trip right here. There was like 10 other big ones in this one bit. I've seen like probably 25 big smallmouths so far. What's cool about this lake system, or rather these lakes, is how clear the water is. I have like 25 feet of visibility. Clear visibility. And I was seeing some really nice fish. Uh, I caught one on the Ned rig. Had another big bite. Two big bites. I'm gonna catch a lot of fish over the next few days. But uh, check out, so clear. Hey there, so this is the uh, the first portage. We went about halfway or quarter of the way maybe. We went up a hill right here. 
Now we're going to get the, uh, what are we getting? Canoe? We're getting the uh, canoe and the kayak, so here goes. All right, hey guys, so this is how I'm portaging. I got this canoe paddle, kayak paddle, and all these bags. It's kind of heavy, but let's go. You can, uh, All right, so we finally finished the portage. Uh, it was about a third of a mile. We did it three times. There, back, there, back, there, back. Dad's heading out. We're gonna go catch some fish. So let's uh, let's go spot a couple, and then we're gonna catch them. All right, I'm gonna go until I can spot a fish. Can you see any, Dad? sight fishing those fish like that. There we go. Wow. Check out that beautiful fish. Wow. Right there on a little wacky worm. I saw her swimming around and I knew she'd bite. Oof. There you go, Burley. fish. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's a really nice fish. Wow. That right there is such a healthy fish. Super chunky. We're going to say that's an 18 for our first fish. There we go. There we go. Oh! Wow! 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 These fish are crazy! I have never... <laughs> I've never had such vicious, vicious smallmouth in my whole life. That was insane! These smallmouth are on fire over here. Look at the size of that chunky pig. Wow. Ah, that's an 18 right there. Beautiful. So I've caught three smallmouth now. Two of them have been pushing 18 inches each of them and both of them were the hardest fighting fish I've ever had in a smallmouth. Just crazy. Now, I wanna do top water, so I'm gonna use this right here. But there's a special regulation out here because it's a wilderness that you can't have barbed hooks. So you gotta take the barbs and you have to, oh, there we go, look, I broke off the actual hook. Nice, you gotta make sure you don't do that you bend the bar, but don't break the hook. <laughs> Somebody caught a smallmouth and then, uh... That's how you catch a fish. Let's see. This fish hasn't been dead too long. Did I just get it caught? 
Got a dead fish, look at that. That poor fish died because somebody was unwilling to get it unhooked. We'll make two feet of water. Come on. It's ridiculous. Alright guys, so we finally made it to our campsite. It was like a two or three miles on the first lake and then a third of a mile portage and then like what another mile and a half down here like a mile and a half down here so it's been a pretty long day we're getting into our campsite I've caught a bunch of I've caught four smallmouth but three of them have been like huge I didn't really have much time to fish though we're gonna get set up and maybe come back out for uh, some nighttime fishing we'll see I got that dead fish out of the water, Dad. Yeah, yeah it was a smallmouth. Pretty big. Yeah, it was a big fish. So it just looks just lying underneath the tree, huh? Uh-huh. I got the I got the lure out of its mouth too. You didn't catch any fish, right? Nope. And one bite maybe. All right, so I don't know if you guys can hear in the background, that is a bald eagle. That noise, bald eagle. Now, first order of business we showed up was getting our camp set up, and I'll run up and I'll show you guys what that looks like in just a moment. Second order of business is water. So, if you guys followed me on my the fish. If you guys followed me on my Africa trip, you know that we use this UV filter all the time to clean our water. So what you do, it's really simple. Fill the water up to right here with regular lake water. Close this, shake it for a minute, and then you're good to drink it. It kills off all the bacteria, viruses, whatever. Uh, we used it all over in Africa. I used this in Craig Lake, so, and I already used it once today. Um, so try to not get like muddy water. You kind of want clear, clean water. You don't want particulates in it. Um, it'd be best if I was out further, but uh, I'm gonna do my best just to get some water and, and we're just gonna go with it. We shake it for, I don't know if you guys can see that light in there. I'm not going to look into the light because that hurts your eyes. Now, we shake it for 60 seconds, just like this. And then this water is good to drink. It's really quite cool. We're going to be filling up all my dad's Nalgene's right now. And then I'll show you guys what camp looks like. All right, so at this point, you're supposed to clean off the threads. Look at that, I cleaned them off. Tastes like lake water. All right, here we go. So this is our uh, campsite. Uh, here's Pops over here. He's gonna be setting up our dinner tonight. What are we having for dinner? We're having beef stroganoff. Beef stroganoff. Mountain home freeze dried. Freeze dried, sounds good. So um, here's all our gear. Uh, we'll be dealing with that in just a moment. Now, I want you to check this out over here. This is my newest addition. <laughs> this is a really cool hammock tent and I got this rain fly over top of it. Um, we're kind of struggling on how we are, uh, what's the word for it, setting this up. But tonight we're gonna see how it, how it goes. It's not supposed to rain tonight. And it's not supposed to rain so We'll see what happens. This over here. Yeah, so if you heard my dad, if uh, if things go bad, which they might, things go bad, I'm gonna leave that and I'm gonna come 
uh, get into the tent tonight. But you know what? I don't really see any reason why. It might get kind of cold. It's supposed to be in like the 40s, high 40s maybe. All right, so we're gonna see what happens. Uh, we're gonna get our dinner rolling and then we're gonna go on out and we're gonna maybe catch some more fish. I don't know, just drove up, not bad. All right, so we are uh, living it up right now with some beef stroganoff wasa and bread. some wasa bread. I guess my, my dad, uh, he camps quite a bit and this is what he eats, so uh, let's see how it is. First night here. Mosquitoes were real bad, so we had to get out of camp. So we came on out here. My dad just caught a 17-inch smallie, and I see a fish rising right over here. So we are, we're gonna catch that fish on the fly rod. You guys know my fly rod skills are not that great, so. Don't critique me too hard. Check out, that's like 11 inch rock bass right there. Holy smokes. Just crushed this thing. This is my uh, UV water right here, guys. Pretty cool, huh? This is the end of the first night. Mosquitoes are crazy. Caught some fish on top water. We're gonna get up and catch some fish tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, first half a day. We're gonna catch a lot of fish in the morning. We are at a really cool campsite this morning. Um, we're on Loon Lake. So what happens is yesterday, you guys already saw it, but yesterday we portaged, I take it back. We first canoed down uh, Clark Lake, then we portaged, then we canoed down this lake, and then finally we got here last night. Um, we were really tired. I was really tired. Um, caught a couple fish. I think I caught eight fish, you know, not, not a bad night. Um, the uh, rock bass last night were going crazy on the surface. There were just like thousands of them hitting out here and uh, came out with a fly rod and caught a few. Um, it was actually insane. Last night, when I was out on the water, um, I could hear a humming noise, like a vibrating humming noise, and I thought it was like a beehive. You know that, that sound when you, you're you underneath a beehive? And I looked around and I realized there were mosquitoes, like hundreds of thousands of mosquitoes just hovering in place and making this humming noise that you could hear out on the water it was it was crazy it was uh way too many mosquitoes but uh, anyways we're gonna have a good time today we're gonna have a good a good trip um, we're looking to catch hopefully 21 to 22 inch smallmouth that's my goal for this trip if i can catch a 21 inch smallmouth bass uh, I will be over the moon because that'll be my new personal best so really really trying to make that happen yesterday in the few fish I caught uh, 18 17 probably caught two 18s actually um, so anyways we'll see what happens and we'll, we're gonna have a good time I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one and uh, let's get fishing You guys can see right up there there's an eagle. It's just a decent sized smallmouth over here, so we'll see if we can 
see if we can't get that fish to bite. There we go. That's a pig right there. Woo. Saw that fish. Look at the size of that chunky pig. Wow. Ah, that's an 18 right there. Beautiful. That fish bit on this, uh, this weedless uh, shrooms jig with a little bit of skirt. And it's a uh, just a little uh, a little tube right here. That fish whacked this. That was cool. Let that worm sink, pops. There we go. There we go. It's a nice size fish. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. There we go, right there. Look at that fish. My dad gave me intel. He said there's two big ones over here. I'm pretty sure this was one of the big ones. Look at the size of these small mouths. That's like another 17 right there. My dad just caught a monster one. Okay. Bring it this direction. Bring it this way. Hmm. Nice fish dad just caught right there. I don't know if you can see that stump right there, but I know there's a fish on it, so let's uh, catch it. Oh. I knew there was a fish on this log. Boom, right there. Fish are so healthy. Look how pretty that fish is. Alright, hey there. So my dad and I are now heading to a different lake. We're going to do another portage, or should I say portage. Um, I am not bringing the kayak because it's too heavy. It, yeah, we're going to have to bleep that. It is too heavy. heavy. Oh, huge smallmouth. <laughs> Alright, so back to what I was saying just a moment ago. Um, we are headed to a different lake. We're going to do a nice portage over there. Um, we're headed to Deer Island Lake in Sylvania. We're currently on Loon Lake. Uh, we've caught a few fish, but we want to try something else out. So currently I am being chauffeured while I fish, thanks to this guy right here. 
but he's mute, so remember he can't talk. <laughs> All right, see you guys when we get over there. All right, that's our first bass on Deer Island Lake. Oof. Just drop it in. That. Literally, just drop it down straight. Farther down. Farther down. You, yep. You got it. You got it. Got her. Got her. Got her. Woo -hoo -hoo. Look at that. Look at that fish right there. Three in a row. Clobbering them. Here, my dad just hooked up with a nice fish. Look at the bend in that rod. Oh, look at that. There you go, Dad. Keep bringing her in. I got the net right here. When you get closer, bring her this way. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep coming, keep going. Oh, that's a chunky one. There we go. Let your bail, let your bail. Oh, look at that fish my dad just caught. Look at that. That is at least 18, 19 inch fish. Thank you very much for landing that for me. Let's, uh, let's both cast out. You're gonna have to cast it, <laughs> yep, that way. That was a terrible cast, I was gonna let you. <laughs> One of the worst casts I've ever seen. Uh, I'm, under your, I'm under a tree here. It's so am I. No way, again? Look at that. That's not nearly as big, but that's a still a nice fish. Ooh, look at the pull on these fish. There you go. Oh, nice fish. Fish is pulling the canoe out. Oh, dad, that's a huge, that's a huge smallmouth. Bring that here. This direction. Dad, this way, this way, this way. Oh, dad, dad, dad. Okay, okay. This is probably the largest smallmouth you've ever caught. Wow. Dad, that might be a 22 inch fish. That might be the biggest smallmouth I've ever seen. Look at that fish. Oh my gosh, Dad, we gotta measure this. Oh, two? two and a half, probably. Okay, it's a 20, 20 and a half. 20 and a half inch right there. Thank you very much. Get going, beautiful. Oh. I'm a little salty right now. My dad fishes like two days a year, like literally two days a year, only with me. I bait his hooks for him. I baited his hook. I'm paddling. Okay, don't listen to him, he's mute. So, I bait his hooks and he goes and catches probably a 21 inch smallmouth right there. That's bigger than my personal best. He's caught like 10 smallmouth all year. I've caught 250 nearly. What is this? That looks like a nice size fish, Dad. Yeah. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That's a big one. 
I'm getting the net. I'm getting the net. Bring it this way. Bring it this way. Okay. Oh my gosh, you just caught another giant. This is your third fish that's probably pushing 20 inches. Oh, that's huge. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Just giant, Dad. Giant smallmouth. A nice little fish. Here we go. My dad. Dad has a double on. Oh, we had a double. No, 15. All right, Pops just got another one. There we go. That's another 20 incher. I'm gonna be salty. Looks like a nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, there's another one right there underneath it. That's a really big fish. Oh my gosh. My dad is just catching nothing but giants. Here, bring her. Oof. Yep. Oh, that's such a pretty fish. Wow. Look at this girl. Wow, look at the dark coloration on that fish. Man, the dark coloration, that golden color. So pretty. This one might be decent, I don't know. This one might be decent. Yeah, I think this fish is decent. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, please don't get off. Please don't get off. Come on, come on. Whoa. Wow. All right. I already have enough pictures of yours. Look at that fish. Look There's a white, at the size of that there's fish. A white worm down there in the bottom. Yep, because mine just got spit out. Look at the size of that fish. That's a good maybe 19. That's not my personal best, but that was a huge one. There we go. There we go, right there, chunky. Beautiful fish, look at that eyeball. Oh, so pretty, I love these fish. I love them. All right. It's my 27th fish. All right, hey there, so this is our mid-afternoon update. Uh, we have been fishing on Deer Island Lake. This is um, this is a lake that you have to do two portages to get to in Sylvania Wilderness, but it is completely worth it. The smallmouth here fight hard, and I'm not just saying that for the video to make it sound cool or something. I'm serious. These fish fight hard. Um, every single fish we've had has just been pulling drag, making it difficult to get them in. Um, my dad back here's caught eight, you hear that loon in the background? So cool. My dad's caught eight smallmouth. I've caught, 
I don't know, I might maybe have caught 10 perhaps. Um, I'm up to 26 total fish, but I think 10 over here. He has caught three or four fish that have probably been pushing 20 inches. One of his fish might have been a 22 inch fish. Um, and then I caught one fish that might have been 20. But uh, great fishing back here, awesome fishing. The reason I'm doing this, uh, this, this uh, update back here next to these trees is it's a bit windy out here and I'm trying to keep the wind noise down so you guys can actually hear me. Um, every single one of our fish has come on a worm. We've been casting wacky style worms and I just caught one on a Ned rig. Um, but mostly the wacky style worms is what's been kept picking them up for us. Um, Dad, do you have anything you want to say? Here's, a, here's the worm right here. Can you hold that up here? That's the worm we've been using. Now, special regulations out here says you can't use scented worms. So leave your gulp worms at home, anything like that. You need to bring um, unscented worms. And I'm not entirely sure what counts as scented and isn't scented. Um, for instance, Senkos, they have salt that's impregnated in them to make them heavier, but I don't think that means they're scented. So I think you can use Senkos. Could be wrong on that, but you know, it is what it is. I like, like the best cast I've ever made. <laughs> Come on. I know there's fish over there. Oh, there's a huge smallmouth right here. right underneath us. Dad, big ones right here, three of them. Oh, they're huge. Maybe they're gonna come for it. Holy smokes. Dad, they're like four monsters right there. Could you keep us here? Oh, got one! Yes! Yes! That's what I... Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Oh, that's what I wanted right there. Oh, that's a huge one. That's a huge one. Okay. Oh, she's big. Oh, she's big. Come on, girly, come on, girly, come on, girly. Yes, got her. Oh, I was hoping for top water, and it happened. I saw three fish swimming underneath it, and I said, mm, one of them's gonna smash it. And it did, look at that. Big old fish. Top water brute right there. Get going, beautiful. Oh, Dad, that was right, right here. There's a fish just swirling down there underneath, but it's not, it's... I would be surprised if that fish doesn't go for yours. Oh, there it is. Right behind mine. Come on. Take it. Oh my gosh, did you see that bite? Oh! Wow! That fish cranked it! That's a huge fight 
It's not a huge fish. All right, come here. There we go. There we go. That's a Davy Jones popper right there from Dark Waters Fly Shop in Iron River. I love catching Upper Peninsula smallmouth on an Upper Peninsula fly. So cool. There's a bass on yours right now. It, I think it took it. It's in its mouth. Dude, it's right. The bass is right there. It totally went after it though, Pops. Oh, oh, there you go. I knew that bass was... There you go. Nice fish, Pops. That's a nice one. Oof, oof, that's a nice one. Oh, that's a real nice fish. I saw that fish come all the way in. Keep it out of the wood, keep it out of the wood. <laughs> I got you, I got you. Wow! That's again another chunky. <laughs> Look what my dad just caught. We sight fished it. Boom, Shawalawa. Look at that. That's 10. Look at that fish go. See it, Dad? Oh, I love watching them swim off. Oh, nice fish. Well, you totally told me that about that one. Yeah. I said it was in its mouth. And I couldn't, I kept tugging and I wasn't getting any tug back. All right, look at that, another chunky one, Dad. Look at the colors. Look at the colors. Green and gold together. Green and gold, that's a new color combination. We're gonna call that smallmouth color. You ready for the release? Yep. All right, here goes. You get going, girl. There she is. Got one? Oh, there's a huge, oh my gosh, look at those four fish. Dad, you see that? Are you good? Yeah. I want to see if one of those fish will come up and bite. Are you are you good? Or are you? Yeah. Do you? Well, I got him in a weird spot. Okay, here, 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 here. Let's grab the net. No, I got it. I got it. Your worm's gone. Uh, <laughs> okay. Did you see, did, could you see those four fish? I did not see those fish. There were four fish following. Four. Mm -hmm. caught that one right in the reeds. Seriously? All right, here goes. I'm gonna see if I can get one. Got, got him, oh! All right, let's see if any follows came. It's not just the white worm. Oh, I don't see any follows. Oh, there's a follow right there, see it? All right, let's, let's get her in, let's get her in. Nice. Oh my gosh, another beautiful fish. I cannot believe how many fish we've caught today. Just, just, ow, 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 ow. Ooh, she got me good. Ow. Ooh. So that fish got a spine right up underneath my fingernail. That's dumb. Dad, I told you there was a nice fish right there. Keep bringing it in. You have three fish following it. Oh, that's a huge one, Dad. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, I've never in my life seen so many big bass as I have in this section right here. We're in about four or five feet of water. There's a bunch of reeds and the fish are just going crazy.
Now, I was trying to cast top water. I was sight fishing and the fish were not having it. So I'm putting on Jim's sculpin pattern. I am really hoping I'll catch them on this because these fish, they're everywhere. And they're just like, my dad just caught one. And I think five fish followed in. Come on, take the sculpin, please. There we go, oh baby. I saw the flash of the mouth, I didn't feel it. And then I set the hook and she spit it out. Alrighty, so say goodbye to Deer Lake. I'm sorry, it's Deer Island Lake. This is a really cool spot. That guy back there caught 15 very healthy fish, like huge fish. I didn't catch 15, um, but I've been fly fishing. I did catch three on the fly. I missed a couple fish. But uh, we got a portage ahead of us, and then we got to paddle again, get back to camp. So, see you guys. This looks beautiful right now. We are heading out. Uh, this is the second day, the evening. We just had dinner. We're going to see if we can't have a night bite. I have two topwater lures. One is a grasshopper for the rock bass, and another is a... Uh, Zara puppy for hopefully the actual bass. So uh, let's get rolling. Oh. Got one, I wasn't paying attention. Oh. Hey guys, it's the end of day two. I got one more fish to catch and I'm up to 40 fish. Hopefully I'll catch it in the next minute. And uh, tomorrow we got a cool uh, a cool meal planned. So let's uh, hope we catch some fish. So we're not gonna be able to do the meal without, you know, some fish. I want a bite, I want a bite, I want a bite. I had a bite. It just didn't hook up. Let's try again. Here it goes, right here. There we go. Oh! It might only be a rock bass, but in my eyes, that's the 40th fish. All right, we're gonna be eating these tomorrow. Yum, yum, yum. See you guys in the morning.
was so cool. I doubt you can hear that with the super suit on. Five loons. Got one while Dad was... Got one while my dad was filming on the first cast! First cast! Are you kidding me? First cast right there. Signals made. He keeps going like this. I don't know what that means. Does that mean there's a fish? Nope, dude, that's what it meant. It, there was a fish! <laughs> Whoa, it's a huge one! Oh my gosh! Oh, it's big! Oh, it's big! Look at that fish. Look at that Mondo right there. Dad, that was awesome. You kept going like this, and I was like, does that mean move it a little bit? All right, 17 incher right there. Here, will you get the release? Do you want to try to find another fish? Because it's taking you like 20 seconds each time to find a fish. Okay. All right, you want to just give me the same hand signals? This means there's a fish moving. Okay. And this means give it off the bottom and jerk it. Okay, and what, what's the sign if they like grabbed it and I don't realize it? <laughs> trucker, trucker. All right, there we go. All right, so if you didn't get that, this means fish, this means move it, this means set the hook. This is ridiculous. This is hates wandering. It's catch release wander. So my dad is uh, currently collecting lures off the bottom. He has collected, or he has collected, 
these three lures. And this one right here was spit out of a mouth of a bass as that I caught. Caught a fish and it spit this out. He picked all three of these up in the last like 15 minutes. There we go, that's my signal. There we go! Oh, that was it! Dad gave me the signal to, to set the hook and everything! Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! That's a pig! Oh, that's a pig! Oh, that's a... That's a pig! <laughs> Look, that fish. That fish right there. Dad, you ready for the underwater? This is the final update, maybe? We are headed home today. Uh, thunderstorms are coming. We we're gonna spend another night, but in my hammock tent, I'm a little bit wary of being in a thunderstorm. So we're gonna head on home and hopefully we can avoid those thunderstorms on our way back. We got one portage to go, um, but you know what? It's not gonna be too bad. We just caught a couple bass. We had some fun this morning. Uh, we went snorkeling. I'm gonna show you guys my top three lures from this trip. Um, and uh, you know, if you ever come out here, maybe maybe you'll use some of these. So number one lure was this white three inch worm, um, wacky style on a like 1 20th ounce or 1 16th ounce mushroom jig head. So it just kind of went on down just like this. Bass came up and slurped it, set the hook, game over. This thing caught so many fish. Now, I couldn't catch top water to save my life, but my dad did really well on top water. He used a, uh, this is a baby bass color headin tiny torpedo. He caught a lot of fish on this, surprisingly. Um, I couldn't catch fish, he did, who knows? And the last thing, um, we were using this little size two spinner right here. We were gonna cook up some rock bass for a meal, but um, we we're gonna do that today, but you know, since it's gonna rain. But this right here was actually catching quite a few rock bass. So if you're out here to catch those fish to eat, that's not a bad lure. All right, so we had a great time. Um, we had a really great time, but we have to, we have to get paddling. So I'm going to turn you off for now. And maybe, maybe once we get back to Clark Lake, maybe if the clouds clear a little bit, we'll fish some more. See you guys. sight fished it. I saw it swimming underneath me, tossed it in, and it just beelined for this. There we go. There's one of our two. Oh, that's a nice one too. Wow. Oh. There's another fish whacking this one, trying to... All right. Okay, so that was uh, 49th fish. One more and I can head home. That was the first largemouth of the day. I mean, of the three days. There we go. That's a huge fish. 50th one right here.
was gonna say that was a huge fish. There we go. And that's a huge fish. 50th one right here. Wow. Dad, got a big one. It's caught a huge largemouth. Look, look at the size of that. My 50th fish right there. Beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip. It's been a good one.